Hi, I'm Ryan Alt. I'm a physicist, and this is how to convert MMHD to feet. Now, looking at atmospheric pressure on mercury, we find that the pressure, P1, is equal to the density of mercury times the gravitational acceleration times the height that it's displaced. And fortunately, we can also write the pressure 2, which relates to H2O, is rho 2 times G again times H2. And since the pressure is the same on mercury as it is on water, we can equate these two. The G's will cancel, and we find that rho 1 H1 is equal to rho 2 H2. Now, what we want to find is the ratio of millimeters of mercury, mmHg, over feet, or vice versa. So if we solve for H2, we see that it's equal to rho 1 over rho 2 times H1. Now, rho 1 over rho 2 is simply the density of mercury to the density of water. It happens to be about 13.6. So we can say this is equal to 13.6 times H1. Now, if H1 is just one millimeter of mercury, we can simply convert this to feet of H2O. Okay? So, H2 is equal to 13.6 times millimeters, and if we multiply by meters over millimeters, we find that one millimeter, 1,000 millimeters, are in one meter. The millimeters cancel, and we can also multiply this by meters or feet per meter. And we know that in one foot, you have about 0.3 meters, or in other words, 3.3 feet in one meter. And again, meters cancel, and we're left with feet of H2O. Performing this whole calculation, we find that H2 is equal to 0 0.045. of H2O over 1 mm Hg. I'm Ryan Alt, and this is how to convert mm Hg to feet.